to you too. I like your kicks. They're good. Oh, yeah. yeah? You, you like good. my little Stan Smith? I yeah. sure do. Feeling good about these. These They're, are nice and shiny. I mean, these are and right new. out of the box. <laughs> I know. Right? Hey, we, we got to say congrats, because since the last time you've been here, you had another baby. I sure Ooh. did. I, but I didn't have the baby. You're, my wa you're my you're wife had the, the baby. You had a little boy? A little boy, baby? yeah. Oh. What's his name? Ozzy. Ozzy. So now we, now we have Lily, who's six, and Ozzy, who's six months. Those are great and names. And we're done. You're done? You're done. done. Yes. You're done. Well, Is well, your they, wife I hope done? so. Yeah, that's um, the thing. Yeah, no, she, she's done, too. Now she might change your mind. No, I think we're good, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but how is it with you? Have you have a six-year-old? You have a six-month-old. You are busier than ever with your career. How, how are you juggling everything? Um, well, I mean, we're not. We're dropping. We're dropping balls all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> have you left any child anywhere yet? <laughs> um, <laughs> no so, judgment here. Trust. Yes. I, you know. My wife, Tess, has a full-time job as well. Mm -hmm. So every time we leave the house in the morning, I don't know why this happens, but it feels like that 10 minutes right before we're like out. Everything seems so chaotic. I, I don't know why. I don't know why we're not able to kind of like calm down and just, you know, ease, ease, out, too, ease yeah. out of the door, but we run out. The last couple of days, I've, I, you know, I think... I left the stove on the other day, which was really bad. <laughs> I don't even know how long it was on. Um, I tried to make some coffee the other day, and I just pressed the button. There was no cup underneath the machine. <laughs> um, and I think it's all because the two of us are terribly afraid that we're going to leave the house in one of these mad dashes without one of the children. Mm. It hasn't happened yet, thank goodness. But I really see it being a possibility. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up when it does happen. Knock on, like knock on that wood. Yourself. Knock I'm on that wood you, over I'm there, buddy. I see him. people acting erratically in life, and I'm, I, th I think to myself now, well, they must have kids. Yeah. <laughs> and if they don't... <laughs> okay. That's correct. Yeah. If, they, if they don't, shame on them. Shame, shame on, on them. them. No excuse. Uh, we got to take a quick break, man. When we come back, we're going to talk to you about your surprising new role that everybody's talking about. I mean, this right. is really, really, mm -hmm. really amazing. Right. We'll be right back with Max Greenfield, everybody. Wednesday on Live, we'll talk with Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is from Hello, My Name is Doris. Yes. And, and as we just saw from there, you play Sally Field's love interest. I know. I feel pretty lucky about this. I mean... <laughs> She's the greatest. I mean, just the best. Were you, when you uh, read the script, were you like, what? Uh, what? Well, I had read the script a long time before Sally had come on. Okay. And then I was attached to it. Michael Showalter had written it and, and, and was the director. And, uh, you know, I was with it for, I think, eight months before he sent it to Sally. And then we had to wait two weeks. Wait, like, is she going to say yes? And we both were, like, calling each other. Have you heard anything? Have you heard anything? And then... Finally, she did say yes, and we both went, oh, my God, this is amazing. And then we got very nervous because we right. thought, oh, my oh my dear Lord, there's an icon that's going to be on the set. We need to behave ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but so, but I'm, sure she fit, I'm sure you fit in with her just perfectly. Yeah, it was great. I mean, she doesn't allow you to, to treat her any differently than you would anybody else you're working with. And she is just yeah. the most incredible human being, and we had the best time. And I think... You know, there's a scene that we shot, I think, on the second day where I'm ripping my shirt off and we're, like, fully into it. And, I, you know, we both were kind of nervous. And uh, we pull away from the, from after they call cut. We just kind of looked at each other and we're like, all right, well, this is going to be an excellent, excellent shoot. Let's do that again. And, uh, <laughs> and we had the best time and then just kind of had a crush on each other for, like, a month and a half. And the movie you know came what? out so great and we're so proud of it. I and don't blame either one of you. You really, like, you're an adorable couple. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I love it. And how's Schmidt's wedding plans going? Schmidt's wedding plans are on track. Uh, they are? Yeah. Okay. I, I ho hopefully, you know, everything works out. And by the end of the season, I think we have like three or four more to, to shoot. Hopefully, we'll be married. <laughs> and, but, and the thing is, on, um, and also. On New Girl, you guys are approaching your 100th episode. Yeah, That's yeah. That's a big thing. Congratulations, Thank man. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That's awesome.
What's that? Is there going to be 100 episode cake? Yeah, there was like, they, they came to set and, and the studio and, and, and network brought this huge cake to set and we were like, well, do we, uh, is this for, you know, does everybody get to eat this? Yeah. And do we stop for the whole day to finish it? Yeah. We didn't really know what to do. We just taped our 60,000th episode and we got it, uh, we got it everything uh, donut. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. I saw the everything donut. We got an everything that, donut. That, yeah. Oh, we have some extra backstage. We're going to give you one. But the morning, it is, hello, my name is Doris. Lynn Theaters on Friday. Make sure you check out Max Greenfield, everybody. Tomorrow on Live, we'll cook with Maria Menounos.